नमस्ते दिस इज राम सुधीर टूडेज वीडियो इज बेसिकली अबाउट हाउ डू वी रियली बिल्ड कॉन्सेंट्रेशन नाउ मेनी आर स्टूडेंट्स आर कमिंग टू आज लाइक फॉर मेंटरशिप एंड ऑल नाउ द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दे आस्क इज सर यू सेट प्लीज कॉन्सेंट्रेट नाउ वॉट इज कॉन्सेंट्रेशन सर वी आर नॉट एबल टू कॉन्सेंट्रेट कैन यू टेल अस हाउ टू कॉन्सेंट्रेट नाउ नाउ दिस टिपिकल काइंड ऑफ वीडियो टिपिकल काइंड ऑफ वीडियो वाई आई यूज दिस वर्ड अ टिपिकल काइंड ऑफ वीडियो इज uh because here there are some things which we really need to learn not just for the exam but it really helps us in our daily life first thing what we need to understand here is the basic difference between our mind and awareness what is this mind and what is this awareness so in simple way i will try to explain this aspect let's say in our mind there are different compartments and in this each compartment you have different aspects let's say we have lust we have anger okay we have uh, compassion okay uh, we have our relationships we have different different blocks in our mind but what is this awareness when my awareness goes into this compartment of relationship my mind is able to sense this relationships oh i have to meet my friend oh my wife is calling whatever is the relationship when my awareness is going into it that particular block my mind becomes more and more aware or mind is able to sense that particular aspect for example if my awareness is getting into this anger block now this awareness is into this anger block the mind can perceive anger so first and foremost thing what we have to understand is that there is two different aspects here is my mind and another one is my awareness this distinction many of us can feel during meditation during meditation you can feel this difference you will be able to observe what all is going on in your mind but of course i'm not going to explain about meditation out here now the question is what is concentration before explaining concentration let me explain the opposite of it that is distraction now when i use the word distraction it means my awareness is jumping from one box to another in a constant commotion okay that means when i'm eating my food my awareness is not just is in the food block my awareness is shifting from food to friend okay or to the pain which is caused or to these this jump which is happening is nothing but distraction when i am studying when my awareness has to be in the complete studying aspect for the exam or for whatever it is or when i am reading a book my awareness is jumping from studying to the movie theater to what my parents have said to the failure block if i fail what is going to happen that is how stress is also developing that is how pain is also developing if my awareness is only in the studying block block or if my awareness is only in the book which i am reading stress will also be less because i have not gone into the parents block or the society's block i am only into this block of reading a particular book i am just holding the book i am into this book i am only aware of the book complete attention of the book which i am reading now what is this sir now the next question comes up for few things which we do there is no need for a special effort from our side for example when the kid is playing games you need not train the kid to concentrate because the kid automatically is enjoying it and therefore he need not force himself to concentrate with respect to playing a video game 
Now, playing a video game is quite different for the kid when you ask the kid, why don't you study or why don't you focus on your education or why don't you study, why don't you read this book? Now, the kid is not in a position to automatically focus because that is not giving him instant pleasure or gratification. Now, this is how what we should understand. So, there is no instant gratification coming which is coming from the video game. And therefore, natural process of concentration is not happening when I am doing, when I am studying. But when the kid is playing his video game, you have a similar kind of, that you need not forcefully ask him to concentrate. Now, there is a difference here, there is a difference which we can understand here, that the kid playing video game need not be forced, but the kid asking the same kid to study, it is becoming difficult for him to concentrate. It is becoming difficult for him to concentrate because that is not giving him immediate gratification. So, the next question comes up, then how do we concentrate on something which is not giving us immediate gratification? Now, that is the biggest challenge as students or as individuals, as everybody has to understand. Now, it is a very important thing. It comes only through practice now. Now, it comes through practice to such an extent that you, you, are, you attain a concentration level where it happens automatically. Now, how do I do that? Now, when my awareness, so this, when my awareness is studying or for exam, this 80 days to go, 90 days to go, whatever it is, or this practice has to come from our day-to-day -day activity. So, what is this day-to-day -day activity? Day-to-day -day activity is when I am eating my food, my 100% awareness should be in the food which I am eating. Nothing else matters except the work I am doing right away. Now, this is how we develop. When you are talking to your friend, you should give your 100% awareness to your friend. Your friend can innately feel that awareness. If you are not thinking anything else and your complete awareness and attention, this is called as undeterred focus on the work which you are doing. So, if you are putting that focus on this discussion with your friend, it definitely helps you to understand that it can make a difference. Now, from your day-to-day -day activities, every small activity which we do, a riding a bike, from riding a bike, I can fully feel aware of the bike I am driving. To talking to your friend where you can give your 100% attention, the thoughts are going away, why don't we bring it back on the friend and give your concentration to your friend. Similarly, when I am studying, similarly when I am studying a book or when I am studying for exam, whatever it is, if I can put my awareness, 100% awareness on that particular activity, so the mind starts perceiving it. And over a period, it becomes a habit. Over a period, it becomes a habit. Your mind starts understanding. Your mind says, yes. Now, we are used to more of distraction in today's world. So, doing one activity, the mind wanders in multiple directions. That we enjoy. And that's the reason getting distracted is so very easy for us. Now, getting focused becomes so very difficult. So, once you start practicing this aspect, Automatically, it becomes a an habit and once this habit develops, we can bring in 100% attention and quality into the work which, into the work which we do. If we have to do a work which can really change the world, which can really create an impact, whether it is any work, whether it is spiritual work, whether it is a scientist who is developing a vaccine, or whether a student who is studying for its exam, for his exam, it's the same. It's the same. If you want to really impact, this is the amount of concentration. This is, it depends on this unwavering concentration which we can give. Now, how do I build that concentration is this awareness which you build on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, this tip I think will definitely help students to develop this focus or this undeterred focus to reach your goals. I hope you like this video 
and if you like it please do share and help many people help students to learn about concentration everybody says concentrate but how do i do it is what is the most important aspect okay so do uh, so doing is what becomes the critical aspect signing off thank you hope you love the video thank you